fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty, Hi-Yo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Apaches and the Geronimo refused to live up to their treaties in the early days of the western United States, the uprisings of the other tribes were usually caused by misunderstandings, and there was no one who realized this better than the masked rider of the plains. He fought for peace with all the daring and resourcefulness at his command. It was he, more than any other man, who created a bond of friendship between the Indians and the white settlers, and finally made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Rim Rock Hills! Tunnel's waiting for us! Hail Silver Hawaii! <laughs> Old Potluck Sims raced into the little town of Calaveras and reined up in front of the cafe. The Lone Ranger, without his mask but wearing a disguise, watched him leap from the saddle and run up the steps. Out of my way, stranger. Barkeep. Hello, Potluck. What's wrong? Plenty, stranger. Barkeep. Pour a drink for the unluckiest man in Calaveras County. <laughs> What's the trouble now? Uh, hurry up. Oh, here. Uh, <coughs> Go look and see. Are they coming up the street yet? Who? The Kiowas. Kiowas? What'd they be doing in town? They're after my scalp. You must be wrong. The Kiowas aren't on the warpath. I passed their camp today. So did I. That's the trouble. Give me another drink. Look at that hand. It's shaking so I can't even hold the glass. Well, let's um, have it. Tell us what happened. <coughs> I took a shortcut. Huh? Coming over Rimrock Hill, instead of following the trail, I had to dusty down the bank. It wasn't the first time I'd done it. Nothing ever happened before. But the shale broke under us. We was in the middle of a landslide quicker than you can weak an eye. Yeah, what's a landslide got to do with engines? I'm coming to that. Dusty kept his feet, and when we hit the ledge where the trail circles around, we was all right. Well, we know you didn't go over the cliff or you wouldn't be here. We didn't go over, but the landslide did. Well, couldn't have been much of one. Oh, it kept building. There was a big rock straight in its path and it tore the rock loose. Oh, I still can't see what you're so excited about. I can. The Kiowa camp was at the foot of that cliff. Yeah, and the chief's wigwam was right in line with the landslide. That big rock crashed down on it and smashed it to the ground. There was the most awful screaming and yelling you ever heard in your life. It sounded like a kid. Some of the braves could see me up on the cliff and they shook their fists at me. So I dug my spurs into Dusty and Hightail for town. Hey, that's bad. You recollect what happened to this here town the last time them Kiowas put on their war bonnets? They burned it down. And what started the trouble here before? The chief's brother was shot for a rustler. Was he guilty? No, it was a mistake. It was an accident just like this. There's no arguing with them Kiowas when they're riled. 
I'm going to take a look up the street. Yeah, me too. I'm the unluckiest man in Calaveras County. Yeah, no sign of him yet. Who are you looking for? Coyotes. Injuns? I started a landslide on Rimrock Hill, Doc, and a big rock landed on the Chief's wigwam. I'd like to know if anyone were injured. I don't know for sure, but I told you there was plenty of yelling and jumping around. Yeah, doggone. Just as likely as not, you got them Kiowas down in the whole town. I might be able to do something. What? Well, I'm a doctor, and if anyone was hurt, I might be able to fix them up. Sort of make up for what Portlock did. Yeah. It's a good thought, but I wouldn't advise it. No? Not until we know exactly what's happened and how the Indians are taking it. You might be risking your life. Well, I sure hate to see trouble if anything can be done to stop it. Hey, look out the window. Smoke signals. Smoke signals? Let me see. Yeah, they're, they're right enough. Tonto. What's that you said, stranger? I'll have to ride on. Part luck, those are engine signals. Yeah, you think so? And if you start a trouble, if them smokes got anything to do with you busting up that Kiowa wigwam, then you ought to be run out of town. But right. doggone, it wasn't my fault. I told you how it happened. You should have been more careful. You should have stuck to the trail. If I could only explain to the chief that it was an accident. Yeah, you heard what the stranger said, and he's right. That Kiowa camp isn't safe for white men until we find out if anyone was hurt. And if there was, you're going to... Then gonna... this town won't be saved, neither. And if they saw me up there, I'm the first one they'll go after. Did I say Calaveras County? I'm the unluckiest man in the whole United States. <laughs> The Lone Ranger knew that the smoke signals did not come from the Kiowas, but from Tonto. He raced Silver out of town and toward the distant hill, where the smoke rose in twin pillars. At last, he reined up beside the waiting Indian. <laughs> and what is it, Tonto? Why did you call me? Mm, there are plenty of trouble. The Kiowas? How do you know? Let's see. Their camp's over there. That's right. And what have they been doing? Uh, Tonto hear drum, hear war cry. Tonto ride that way. To the camp? Ride near camp, not in camp. But the Kiowas looked as if something were up, is that it? Mm, I'm plenty mad. Call Scout, Tonto. Uh, here, Scout. He put out fire. I'll help you. Uh, the underbrush is dry and we can't take any chances. But we've got to hurry. Uh, that good. Oh, where we ride? <laughs> to the Kiowa camp. Uh. Pot like Sim started a landslide by accident. The rock tumbled down onto the chief's wigwam. We're going to find out if anyone was injured. Mm, maybe so. And then we'll have to find out if they saw Potluck and if they plan to get revenge. Uh, Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Oh, Silver, away! The Lone Ranger and Tonto raced across the unbroken prairie toward the wild Rimrock Hills where the Kiowas had made their camp. Once the hills were reached, they headed upward finally arrived at the ledge where Potluck had watched the landslide. There, Kiowas. Well, they mean business, all right. I'm going to get this disguise off and put on my mask. Now, give me that cloth you have in your saddlebag. Oh, uh, here. Your cloth. Thanks. Now what do? Uh, one moment. I get the rest of this stain off my face. There. Now my mask. Mm-hmm. Here, Mask. Tonto, we're riding to that camp below. I wonder if there's a trail from above here leading directly down. What's that over there? Well, maybe that trail. And we'll have a look. Come on, Silver. Come up, Scout. Well, this is a way down, all right, Tonto. Steady, Silver. Oh, oh Scout. Oh. Oh. Yeah, plenty steep. The horses can make it. Now, listen, Tonto. These Indians are strangers to both of us. The fact that you're an Indian may lead them to accept you. You seem to come as my friend, however. You'll be mistrusted. Mm. So you're going to take my guns and hold one of them on me. Now I'll ride down this path first. You'll follow as though I'm your prisoner. Mm. Tonto not want to do that. It's best for both of us, Kimasabi. I'll be your prisoner, understand? If they don't want to let me leave their camp again, you can see to it that I escape. Mm. Tonto Savvy. You take big risks, though. We have no choice. Here, take these guns. And keep me covered with one every moment. And we got them. All right, Silver. Down the path, old fellow. Come on. Get him up, Scout. Easy does it, old fellow. Careful. Careful. You stumble, Silver. They both be killed. Almost there, old boy. 
could work. Explain, I'm your prisoner, Tonto. Lumeta, Corone, Atato, Manicte. Steady, Silver. What did he say, Tonto? Him ask Tonto, name. Ask why bring prisoner. Tell him you heard there'd been trouble. On the way here, you met me and brought me along. Nanu, Tonto, Kimasabi. Lepu Lampe, Kurobat, Roronanku, Kalupa. Naktu, Suorame, Tabamukita, Kelat, Apus, Tebiti, Madamanikte. Was a child crying, Tonto? Crying as though it were in pain. Uh, rock hurt chief Apus. Papus, plenty bad hurt. I've got to see that child, Tonto. Tell the chief you want to look at the injury. I'll be able to go along as your captain. Uh, Tonto Nego, Rape. Rape. It all right. Papus in tipi there. You go, Tonto follow. You're doing fine, Tonto. Come on. Well, this is the tent. Uh, you go in. That wife of chief, mother of Papus. Tell her I'll not harm the child, but I must look at it. Manikte Lepo, Rame Kalu, No Pali. No Pali. You look. Oh, no, no. The leg must be broken, Kimasabi. I'll have to examine it closer. There. It's all right. I'll not hurt you. Now hold still. And what you see? The leg is broken in several places. Mm, and then. These Indians can probably set a simple break easily enough. Mm. But I don't believe they have the skill to take care of this. Mm. I wonder if. What's that? We look. It's potluck. Doggone, I wish I could make you understand. Ain't there any of you that can speak English? It was all an accident. I started the slide, but I couldn't help it. Look up! Come on, Tonto. You're the chief, aren't you? Well, I'm just a poor old broken hard luck guy that never meant to... Hey, a masked man. You're in a bad fix, Potluck. You don't have to tell me that. Uh, can you tell the chief... He won't listen to you now. That rock hit his baby's son and broke his leg. Gosh. His only son. But it wasn't my fault. Can't you help me out? He's determined to punish someone for the accident. Then I guess it's got to be me. That's better than having them burn the town. We'll try to help you out. Honest? We'll do our best, both for your sake and for the other settlers. If you were punished, they'd try to get revenge. The Indians would fight back, and the war might spread to the whole frontier. You got plan? Tell the chief the landslide was an accident. Uh, Hunter, tell him. Oh, wait. Tell him this also. Say Potluck is sorry for the injury to the chief's child and will heal him. Do you understand? Potluck will promise to remedy the harm he's done. Uh. Hey, you were just getting me in worse all the time. I don't know nothing about fixing a broken leg. If you say I can, then I don't. They'll have my scalp for sure. If it works, the child will be helped. And you may get out of this alive. Uh, all right, Tonto. Repeat what I've told you to the chief. Uh, Tonto, do it. Lope. Tonto, Gepu. Ralo, Dunika. Manikte, Hopa. Palke, Honan, Romale, Tukale. Neba Wohanan Kano. Ludo Pilfish, Mada Papus Kalut, Rako Teme no Lubeko. Well? Him say pale face fix Papus, pale face live. Him not do it, pale face die. At least we've got a chance, Tonto. Now listen to me closely. Huh? I'm going to make a break for it. These Indians have laid down their bows and arrows. I can get to Silver and get away before they can shoot. Huh? You fire over my head as though you're trying to bring me down. We can't let them suspect you're helping me. And most Indians are bad shots, so they won't be surprised when you miss. Not right. After I'm gone, tell the chief that Potluck must be alone in the wigwam with his son to do the child any good. Everyone must leave the tent, even the child's mother. Me tell him. If Potluck isn't left alone, my plan will fail. I'm going to make a break for it now, Kimasabi. You go. Here, Silver. Here. Let's go, old fellow. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger, urging Silver to his greatest speed, made his escape from the Kiowa camp. In the meantime, Potluck Sim's wife returned home from a visit to a neighbor, found her husband gone, and an arrow sticking in the wall. She ran to the cafe and... Injuns! They got Potluck! Help! They got Potluck! What's that, man? You said Indians got your husband? I just got home. He was gone. Gone! How'd you know it was Redskins took him? An arrow in the wall. There were feathers one of them dropped. Kiowa feathers. So them Indians did see Potluck on that cliff. They did, sure enough. See him? What did he do? Ma'am, I'm sorry. But Potluck was in here telling us about starting a landslide that rolled down on the Indian camp. Oh, Most my. likely killed some of them. Uh, then they do away with Potluck. Uh, he's one of us. We can't let them redskins get away with this if we can stop it. You've got to get him back. You've got to. We'll do the best we can, ma'am. The only thing to be done is to load up our guns and ride after him. He said there was Camp Wester here in the Rim Rocks, didn't he? Which means there must be somewhere along Whitewater Creek. That's the only fit water there is. And they can't make camp where there ain't no water. Oh, hurry. Potluck, or he's killed. Fellas, this here cafe is closed for business right now. All of you get your horses and come on. We're right. All right. I'll go. You stay right here, Mom. We'll handle this. Come on, fellas. Save him. Save him. We'll do all that can be done, ma'am. Get in the saddle. Everybody got shooting eyes. Yeah. Then come on. Get up there. Get up there. Out the west trail, folks. Come on. Get up. Dog on Potluck anyhow. For getting things in this kind of a mess. I'll bet plenty that if he gets clear of this, he won't be in such a hurry again. If he gets clear. Get up. Get all there. Get up. Get up. Hey, who's that coming? Why, it's a masked fella. And coming from the same way we're riding. Come on, old boy. Straight up. Hold on there. Oh, 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 oh. A crook. Go, oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Put up your hand. I'm not out. Then what but are you... But you've got to listen to me. Potluck Sims is being held captive by the Kiowas of the West. We know it. That's where we're heading. We just now found it out. And we're going to clean out that camp and bring Potluck back with us. If he's still living. Wait. Give the masked fella a lend of a gun, will you, Bob? I said wait. You now can't you... help him by attacking. It's a large camp. Those Kiowas outnumber you. But it's guns against bow and arrows. Even if you did defeat them, they take care of Potluck first. Stay away from the camp. I have another plan. You mean a way to get Potluck free? Yes, you men might save him. Doing it your way, you'd arouse every Indian in the country. To save the life of one man, a hundred others might be killed. Even so, we My might... plan would avoid that. Might even make the Indians your friends. Well, listen, what you got in mind? Where's the doctor? To home, I reckon. We'll get him. And he and I'll return to the Kiowa camp alone. But alone? You must be loco. Well, maybe this is some trick. Maybe the masked fellow's in with the redskins. I'm not. Maybe so. But anything you've got planned, we'll go along to make sure it ain't a trick. And spoil everything. Well, if it wasn't a trick, you wouldn't be so doggone anxious to keep us out of it. Everything depends on approaching that camp without being seen or heard. And what chance would you men have to get close without being detected? Just the same. You can't You tell... don't trust me. One of you can go along. No more than one, however. Well, I don't know you about... You can see I'm not armed. The man that comes along can shoot me easily if he sees I'm trying to trick him. I'll go along. And if you're up to some crooked stunt, I will shoot. And don't you forget it. Then come along. Where to? First to the doctor's home. I'll silver away! Get up. Get up there. Get up. Get uh, don't up. look like there's anything left for us to do, fellas, but head back for town to sail. That's right. Well, then, come on. Get up there. Come on. Get up there. Get up. Lone Ranger and his companion raced to the home of old Doc Evans. Steady, Silver, steady. Oh, boy, oh, there. Oh, oh. Find Doc's horse. Get it settled. I'll go in and get him. It won't take me a minute. What the hell? Doctor, Potluck Sims is a prisoner of the Kai who was west of town. No. You can save his life. Me? But what can you I... You said today that you'd be willing to attend those Indians if you knew that any had been injured. How would you know that? Never mind that. Did you mean what you said? Of course they did. Then get your case, your instruments at once. You're going to set the leg of a child. The young one of one of them redskins? The son of the chief. Now hurry. My case is right over here. I got the doc's horse. Good. We'll be right there. Are you ready? Lead the way. Your horse is saddled. Fine. That you, Bill? Sure is, Doc. I'm going along. Let's hope we're in time. To the saddle. Go ahead. Come on, Silver. Get Come on. Get up. Get up. It was early evening when the Lone Ranger and his two companions set out again for the Rimrock Hills. On the way, the shadows deepened to night, and in the camp of the Kiowas, fires had been built. 
Tonto, using all his persuasion, had seen that the instructions of the masked man were carried out. The injured child was left alone in the teepee with Potluck and... <laughs> Doggone it, young'un. Can't you keep still for just a little? You're gonna have my scalp with all that hollering. Doggone if you ain't. Gosh, kid. I never knew anybody could be as cute as you are. Old Potluck didn't mean to hurt you. Honest, he didn't. Gee, I'd rather it was me laying there than you. Yes, sir, young'un. That's just what I wish. Hey, gosh, listen to him. Them varmints want results and they ain't getting them. They ain't gonna have patience much longer. Wonder where the mask feller went. What he had in mind. <laughs> oh, it's you, Tonto. Where you been? Talking to them redskins? Them not wait longer. Uh, they ain't? Them say you not help Papoose. You get killed. Oh, now they can't do that. They... Me try make them wait. Them not do it. Did, did they send you after me, Tonto? Uh. Uh, but the mask feller, he had some scheme. Said he had anyhow. Oh, him got plan. Maybe him too late, though. Too late? You come. I... I got to? Uh. Well, I... I might just as well face it now as later, I reckon. Go on, Tonto. I'll follow. Poor young'un here. I sure do wish I could have done something to ease him. Uh, you come. Yeah. Uh, Look at him. I'm scared. I can't help it. Now me try and make him wait while longer. Then maybe friend get here. Yeah, do your best, Tonto. Uh. Lay to con, no lat. Okay. Manikte rulo sope no ge. Put me to war. Well, will they listen to you, Tonto? Him heap man. Him not want wait. Say you plenty bluff. Not help, Papoose. Gosh, I never said I could. That was the mask fellers doing. It was him that said I could help the young and not me. Mm, that not matter now. Mm, yeah, I guess it don't. Polo papoose, palefish. Mala toke. Lomolo. What did he say that time, uh, Him say brave, hear papoose cry. Tell him, listen. Papoose still feel bad. Papoose feel bad. You die. Oh, okay. Poor kid. Oh, him hurt plenty bad. He told the port. Okay. But Tonto, Tonto, the kid ain't crying no more. Tuma, look at Engine, go to Tipe. Find out what's wrong. Come along, Tonto. We might just as well see the worst for ourselves. Uh. They're crowding inside the tent so fast, maybe there won't be room for us. Come on, let's push our way in. Illa, Illa, Illa. You look for what? Tonto, the kid's just laying there grinning. What's happened? What? Look, leg. A, a splint. Somebody's been here and fixed up that young one's leg. I don't savvy this. Gosh, it wasn't fixed up like that when I left just now. She think you do it. Him happy. Oh. Lipe sulama nikteroro. Pale face naga papoos hope. I don't know what you said, chief. But I sure hope it was something friendly. Well, him say, you heap good medicine man. Papoose not cry, and you good pale face. He, he honestly thinks it was me that fixed his young'un? He, he ain't mad at me no more? Mm, that's right. He, you think he'll let me leave here? Uh. Yippee. I don't know what happened, or how, nor who done it. But, Tonto, from now on, if I ever catch anybody doing anything mean to the Redskins, I'll... I'll push down a landslide on him on purpose. Potluck rode away from the Kiowa camp, his ears ringing with the sincere thanks of the Indians, but still bewildered by his last minute escape from death. Tonto rode beside him, and... And Tonto, you really think the masked fella had a hand in this? Uh. But how? What could he have done? It it seems like magic to me. Me not know. 
But him do it all right. Hello. There, friend. Horse got hold. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get up, Silver. Get up, get up, get up. Steady, Silver. Whoa, whoa. Oh, Bill, yeah. don't give him, sir. What in So they let you go, Papa. Still think you're unlucky? But you fellas, here with a masked man, I don't savvy. Potluck, you owe your release and your life to the doctor. Huh? It was he who set that child's leg. He, he did? At the risk of his own life. Those Indians wouldn't have let you go. They suspected anyone, but you helped the boy. Doc, I don't know what to see. How to thank you. Don't thank me. But the, the mass man gives me the credit, but he's the one that really did all this. Yeah? It was him who kept the men from town attacking and started more trouble than they already had been. Oh, gosh, if he hadn't stopped us... I'd hate to think of the ruckus that'd be around here for the next few months. The mass man brought me here and led me to the wigwam and got me safely inside. But how did you get in there? I never seen nobody go in. We approached the wigwam from the back. Entered by lifting up the side and crawling under. Now, listen here, stranger. Yes? I don't know just how to say it. I ain't much for words and such. But seeing that young and suffering, such a cute little nipper too, and knowing it was on account of me that he was hurting so... Well, it done something to me I ain't forgetting. What do you mean? And as for Injuns not feeling things the same as us folks, I learned different about that, too. The chief, uh, why, he couldn't have worried more about that poor titan if he'd have been one of us. And like I told Tonto back there in the camp, the fellow that makes trouble with them Kiowas, deliberate, is going to have me to deal with. Misunderstanding's always been at the bottom of the trouble with the Kiowas. Tell your story wherever you can, Potluck. And there'll never be another Indian uprising in the district. Just leave it to me, mask man. Come on, Tonto. Uh -huh. Get him up, Scout. Oh, Silver, away! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>